Hi, beautiful. How are you doing today? You look snatched. F look at you today. Ooh, thank you for being here. Today, we're watching America's Next Top Model. Okay, listen. Whenever I meet any of you guys on the street or wherever I am, out of everything people say to me, there's always one thing that seems to come up the most, which is America's Next Top Model. That has been brought up so much in my life, these America's Next Top Model reaction videos. Thank you for loving them so much. It's been a long time and clearly it's a favorite amongst my subscribers. So I thought, why not bring back some hair just for reacts to America's Next Top Model. And if you know me, you know that America's Next Top Model was my favorite show growing up. So I'm so happy to be back. We'll be watching season three and four, two seasons in one video. You're welcome. I don't really remember what makeovers happened in these two seasons, but I'm excited to jog my memory a little bit and see what happened. And I know they were iconic. I just can't wait for the nostalgia to hit. And yeah, should be a lot of fun. I'm excited to see all the makeovers. There's gonna be a lot in a very short time span. And I wanna know which girl out of these two seasons got the best damn makeover. Let's see what happens. Let's get it started. So here we are on season three, episode three of America's Next Top Model. And this episode is called The Girl Everyone Thinks Is a Backstabber. Is this episode about me? All right, let's watch these makeovers happen. Ah! Tyra Man. It doesn't matter, we'll make it right. <gasps> makeovers! You're here to get a makeup lesson from me, and I'm gonna teach you guys how to get a clean, fresh, natural look. I'm sorry, but Jay Manuel had the most iconic white blonde hair. He was doing the silver white hair moment before anybody was doing it. He really paved the way for us, for people like me to then do the iconic white hair moment, Um, even though she's not here anymore. If we're here in a hair salon, it only makes sense that you guys are gonna get hair makeovers as well. <laughs> like the pretty girls walking down the street like I think she can model but mm. Tyra is the queen of subtle shade like it is so good you're like the girl who walks down the street and you know you think she can model but you're like mm, maybe not <laughs> maybe she's just ugly we may never know until she gets a hair and make a makeover long wavy Ooh. Julie, we decided to cut six to eight inches off of your hair and give you a little bit of movement. Yeah, yeah, I love the fact that you keep your hair natural. It shows the pride that you have as a black woman. But I am gonna take your braids out to make you more versatile. I love that. I love that she said that because we all know that America's Next Top Model was very controversial with a lot of, you know, shoots they did. I'm glad Tyra was like, you know what? I love your braids. Shows the pride you have as a black woman. I love that. I'm sad to see the braids go. I do really like them on her, but I feel like I do wanna see her have some really long, dark locks. Like, I just feel like it'll be a fun change for her. So I'm excited about that one. Yeah, yeah. what is your biggest insecurity. My skin. I found one of the best dermatologists in New York City. <laughs> and you're gonna be seeing her today. I love that setup. What's your biggest insecurity? In front of everybody and she's like, my skin. <laughs> Make you blonde. <gasps> Ooh! I see you in I Love Lucy Red. That's gonna look amazing. What we wanna do is add a little bit of length and a hell of a lot of thickness. Thick bob on her, it's gonna look so freaking fierce. Christy, we're gonna make you more edgy. So we're gonna give you a long bang that's gonna be very chic. Oh, the long bang was so big back then. I don't know what year this was, but I think it was like 2002 or something like that, three, four. And girl, the long bang was a moment. Everybody had that bang down to their eyelashes. They couldn't see. It was a lot, but it was definitely a thing that happened back then. Um, and she's about to get that done. I can't wait to see these outdated makeovers too. Like I'm very excited for that. Let's see the- Oh my God. So you have no that problem. is long. Please right do it. And you're going very, very blonde. But we are gonna donate your hair to Locks of Love. Oh, Girl. 
what? I don't like to pick on people's looks. Like I really don't because we all do our own thing and that's that's okay. But these eyebrows, girl, what are they doing for you? Come on. They're doing nothing for you is the answer. They're gonna chop all that off and make her blonde. These makeovers are actually really good. What was I doing sleeping on season three? Um, somebody asked like, what, what happened here? Cassie, you were getting hair weave for thickening. Oh God. We want to match those icy blue eyes with some icy blonde hair. Oh! <laughs> Eva, I love the fact that your hair is short. I think we need to kind of shape it and take it a little bit shorter. Norel, you- I remember this, actually. Hair chopped off. And we have found one of the top orthodontists, and those are coming off today. What? We found one of the top orthodontists, and those are coming off today. How do you just take your braces off? Like, yeah, sure, take them off. Whatever you want, Tyra. Like, what? I'm pretty sure you're supposed to leave those on for a certain amount of time and then take them off, but whatever Tyra wants, you know? In reaction to their makeovers, some are super excited. I'm so excited because, like, I never seen myself in them. Yeah. How young are these girls? Like, 18? Some are not so happy. <laughs> Oh, here comes the tears. Gonna be little and blonde, like a little white boy. I don't want oh my gosh, she's 19. I'm just not gonna be able to change it. I just don't wanna look ugly, you know? It should be fun. Uh, it should be beautiful. <laughs> don't do that. Oh, they're all so upset about their looks. This is a lot of crying this season. I think the older the seasons got, the more the girls were like, you know what? I know I'm coming to America's Next Top Model and they're gonna do whatever the f they want with my hair and I'm not gonna have a say in it. So I'm just gonna do it and get over it. Like, I feel like the crying got a little less as the seasons went on. You ready? I'm gonna cut it off. Oh! Swipe. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Cry laughing, we love that. It feels a lot lighter. It looks so much better already. What the? I can't wait to see. Some what was she people. doing with that hair? I can't wait. Oh, with eyes. the blue eyes with the blonde. Like, yes. Okay, sex appeal. Oh my gosh, I am uh, so excited. Oh my god, they were like totally balayaging her hair in like 2004. Yes, <laughs> with like the most crinkled up foils I've ever seen in my life. Typically, you want to lay them nicely, but you know, with crinkled foils, I guess, works too. Not really though, because when you crinkle the foil, it makes like the color go all over the place and not work correctly. It's not a good idea. I think it's gonna look hot. Just really, really hot. My eyes are just gonna shine. Whoa! The color is really gonna make me go pow. Ooh. Ooh! Evangelista! I definitely liked it. Was it the best? No. Was it a change? Yes. <laughs> I wouldn't exactly put a model in red hair. You know, when do you ever see models with right, fake red hair? You want models to look the most natural possible, typically, so I don't know what they were thinking with red hair. Except this is a show, and they're not really gonna be models. Well, some of them, but... Not all of them. She looks good. The style they put her in after, I wasn't exactly sure of. I don't know what that was, like a bouffant. This is the early 2000s though, it was a little cray. I like the color. I think it's a lot better than what she had. And what she had was an absolute tragic mess. <laughs> Jay taught us all. Is that her new hair color? Fresh, natural look with CoverGirl makeup. It's just a light shimmer just to bring a little glow to the skin. I don't know if that's her new color or not. They're not really... Just put a little on your lid, just right here. It feels totally like a different person. Oh! Okay, I mean, the makeup looks really good. She looks more glowy. The hair color looks more or less the same. I like the lowlights, but I actually liked her hair before. I think it looks much more model-esque, natural, pretty, glam vibes. But you know what? The after isn't bad. That just wasn't the greatest transformation. Definitely not. It doesn't look like a week. Oh! And the texture is really, really yeah. good. Yeah. You can shave my head off. Bomb. Okay, work. Go around here. Okay, work. Blow out. This before and after, she looks good. I mean, they definitely like put a little bit of a caramel highlight in, made it a little longer and thicker. Looks good. Is it totally drastic or different? No. I mean, these makeovers are kind of a little bit lame. They're good, but they're not that good. I think that she's like pushed it a little bit further with these ones, but I feel like we haven't gotten to the good ones yet. I have two tracks of fake hair and so it's very oh wow actually again a cute makeover just she kind of looks older after than and she looked younger before and i think her hair was more model-esque before the makeover i mean the highlights were cute it's just i don't know i don't i don't think it was very necessary but what about these makeovers are necessary pretty much none of it except for that one girl who always gets the most iconic makeover ever and you're just like holy shit you look like a different person and you look like a model now, that's the only time it matters. I'm having to put like all my trust and all my faith into Oh my gosh, this is gonna look so much better. This is gonna look so much better. 
I'm really excited. I've never been blonde before. I'm interested to see how it'll look. I'm very open-minded about it. Yo, she's gonna be there all short hair on me, but it's not short. What is that color? That's the after? Yo, she's looking like a mother 2020 e girl. They were ahead of the times here, girl. Or actually, it's just because the early 2000s are coming back in style and we were all about the chunky blonde highlights in the front of your damn heads. Don't you young girls out there think that that is something new you're doing? No, we've done that before. The chunky blonde highlights were a huge thing in early 2000s. I actually like the chunky blonde pieces in the front. I'm so about the e-girl vibe right now. Again, I feel like she looked more model-esque before and they kind of made her look kind of more punky after, maybe a more edgy vibe. But usually models in the real life, they want you to have your just your natural hair color. They don't want you to have all this crazy shit going on. I think she looks good. But again, she looks older after and she looks younger before. What the hell? I never thought I would see people cry over hair. I saw Norelle crying. I saw Jennifer crying. Yeah. Everybody crying. It's just hair. <laughs> I'm not really loving it right now, but hey, gotta do it. Like you've got a little bit of hair along here, so we're gonna lose that. I'm okay now. I love the way it came. <sighs> the result of the color. I don't like that one. That one aged her so many years. Those highlights obviously were very early 2000s, not the best. I just think it looked like she had gray hair coming out of her head and like in random parts of it. It just wasn't good for me. It's gonna be enough for me on that one. I love the haircut. Um, I think it looked better shorter, but I think she would have looked better with the dark hair. Julie, I think is beautiful, but I think she also only has one look because they didn't change her hair. Somewhere I guess I should see that as a compliment. Like, yes, pearls. With me. Do you understand the movement now? And now when you're modeling, you can and not just be like, ugh. Yeah. Like, I don't feel like a different person. I feel like, oh wow, what a difference. Should be looking. Yeah, yeah, you have another appointment when you come back. I have nothing to say about that one, I'm sorry. Oh my God, yes. I love her hair like this. I approve of this one. This is probably the first one that I actually like a lot. Getting rid of the braids, I think looks really good and wearing her natural hair looks amazing. And I love the curls. I like the color. She looks great. She looks like she's glowing more now. Good one, but not great. Not like anything blowing me away yet. We're gonna use the True Blend, which is gonna even out your skin to start by blending. Under She's the so pretty. Blend from the eye out. You like it? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. It's like so much more edgier. Wow, she just went from teenager to adult very fast. Her hair color looks nice. Not in those pictures, but in these like interviews, it looks better. It looked way too dark in those pictures, but I think it was just because of the glare from the flash. And obviously she looks great without braces. I actually don't mind the haircut. I mean, it's very early 2000s, but um, I think it's kind of cool. It's like shaggy and fun and short and I like it. I used to look in the mirror and see long, gorgeous locks, dark, of course. Uh, I'm not too hip on blondes. <laughs> and now I'm gonna be a blonde. Ooh. Okay, 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 okay. Here's the thing. <laughs> the color looks awful. However, I really like the shorter hair. That's probably the one thing I like is that it's shorter. Should have kept it dark, but shorter. Maybe highlighted a little bit, but now she just looks like a soccer mom. Poor Jennifer with a PH. All these girls look way older. What the hell is going on with this season? I feel very good to know that I'm gonna get my little curly weave. Ooh, uh, I'm excited for this. Really work this. The more comfortable I get here and like I, I start to kind of learn. <laughs> This is me. More comfortable I will be as a model. Okay, hot. She looks hot. Yeah, the curly weave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. Except I do like the hair behind her ears like that too. Like the short little moment she has going on. Kelly though, you look you look hot with that weave. Yeah. Manta stood in front of us and she doesn't change her expression. I was like, okay, transformation inside and out. She's a diva now. As soon as I saw myself. I'm sorry. I just felt sexier and more. Yo, she looks hot. Mm -hmm. The girls are starting to feel intimidated. Not the best picture of her with that hair color, but I think she looks incredible and way more like a model. She looks kind of alien like the alien look does really well in the modeling industry. And I think before she looks just like plain Jane. I'm actually really excited about this one. Amanda, this was a pretty iconic makeover. By me, it's really making me feel good. Yo, she looks amazing. And Leonard did an amazing job. I hope you guys learned a lot. Okay, so that was season three makeovers. Let's move on to season four and see what else we have going on. Amanda though, by far the best out of this season. You got a sickening makeover. I don't know who the worst was though. They kind of all looked like the same. There was nothing actually shockingly bad. Okay, now we are on season four 
episode two. And this episode is called The Girls Who Hate Their Makeovers. Oh my God. Oh, yes. Sarah, we're gonna give you a very Peter Pan inspired haircut. Michelle. Peter Pan? Ethereal look. So we're gonna make you ice blonde girl. Oh, oh sh Good luck to the hairstylist who's doing that because that girl looks like she has box dye on that head. We're gonna blow you out, girl, and make you fierce. Tatiana. That's it. We're gonna <laughs> you and make you very rich, a la Paulina Porce. Ooh. We love. Big ass, crazy personality that can handle hair all the way down to <laughs> Okay, we'll see. Hair weave, very blunt, a la Carmen Katz. Brittany, we're gonna have to take you a little bit shorter, make that bang very heavy and very oomph. Christina, okay. think that you have a face like the girls on the cover of Vogue right now? <laughs> Sarah's like, you have that face that could be on the cover of Vogue. All the other girls are like, please. Deeper, darker, fuller hair. Okay. Oh, I like Rebecca's hair. And long and luscious. I think her hair is better before, but we'll see. These little tight little waves. Yeah. Princess Bride. UV. UV reminds That's not a makeover, but okay. New type of Shelly Duvall. So we're gonna make your hair shake it. I know. Red. Oh my God. Okay, okay, I can see that. You're gonna get an old kind of beat out Sassoon inspired asymmetrical Metro. bang. I love an asymmetrical bang moment. Ooh, that'll be fun. Naima, we're gonna make you honey blonde, girl. Oh, I, I, that's gonna be good. Thought about you, and we decided, girl, that you are fierce. And we ain't doing nothing, nothing, nothing to you. Nada. You are, when she told me I was gonna keep the afro, I'm pissed off. And I was just like, why? Because I wanted a drastic change so bad. Shady to like just give not give one girl a makeover. <laughs> I'd be pissed. That sucks. And also her hair doesn't look that good. The hell? What was that? We were having issues in the beginning for Brandy about her hair. Do, do you feel the dreads up in there? It is. Oh yeah. Yes, Brandy. I'm gonna have to take this off, precious. We're gonna make you really, really short, but really nice bright orange. still. Oh, I'm excited. Change or whatever because I did not want to keep this afro. Oh, thank God they're changing it. Yes. Okay. Now? Finally, she was so cranky at first. Just do me good. Just do me good. That's all I ask. Oh, thank God they got rid of the red. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Been blonde? Yeah, ever, ever. <laughs> A virgin. I love it. I'm getting my first official weave with long extensions. These girls getting these weaves. Ooh. Weaves just don't work on a white girl. They don't. It's just too much pressure on that fine, fragile hair. <laughs> It's a lot. It's not really good for anybody. Like the hair I got wear, but it, it better be beautiful. You're gonna be right here. Oh my god, that actually looks beautiful. I really like the haircut too. But you show my breast. That slight rounded bang with the blunt ends. Like I really like it, and the color is gorgeous. That like honey blonde with some very bright blonde pieces in between. Oh my gosh, she looks so hot. If I knew somewhere within this competition there was going to be a topless or something. I just wasn't expecting it to be so soon. She looks hot. I like it. They made my hair darker. I really Ooh. This is good too. Photo shoot. I feel very confident. Okay, I really like the dark, but again, I feel like she looked like a model more before. I definitely like the darkness and the richness of my hair. It's more sexy, it's more playful. Uh, I didn't like it really either way, so. She looks more like a mom now. Wow, these mommy makeovers, literally, they're doing, that's what they're doing. Giving them all mom makeovers. Um, I, I like it better after. Not the best either way. I would have preferred her with like a shorter haircut. I guess not a lot that's going right with this. I'm actually really happy that they decided not to do a crazy makeover on me. I've had makeovers in the past. She looked better before. <laughs> what is with these makeovers? I have had a sewn in weave before, but this time I'm sitting here for much longer. The blood is all rushing to the spots. Oh, 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 it looks like it's so painful. My makeover is very funky and it's very edgy, so I feel like it definitely shows a different side. I like her hair. I like the layering they put in. I like that they kept her length. I like the highlights. I don't know, it's like all. Oh. Name one before that's gonna hurt and everything, but. 
<sighs> Why is he playing bleach at the sink? It looks like he accidentally made her hair like blue or something because that can happen when you leave the toner in too long or use the wrong kind of toner for platinum hair or their hair is too porous. A lot of things can go wrong with hair color. Um, it's all fixable, but it doesn't, it looks like he's trying to crack something here and she's in a lot of pain because her hair was just bleached and now she's getting more bleach put on to her scalp that was probably just rubbed with shampoo and all, oh, just not a good idea. She's feeling the pain of being a bleach blonde. He was 100% pouring a can of Sprite on her hair. A little secret is that you can actually put like sweetener in your color. Apparently it makes the color hurt less, calms your scalp. I don't really believe it, but whatever. You're the hottest Peter Pan I've ever seen. I think I look thin. She looks hot. The cut, I love the cut. <laughs> I mean, it's a, definitely a mullet, but. I feel like a supermodel. I think it's better before. I wasn't really feeling the mullet. I wasn't really feeling the color either. It's gonna look so dope. I like it. I would have probably chosen. Yes! Oh my gosh, she looks fierce. The swing is, is perfect. I love it. That color looks really good. And I love the mohawk. I love mohawks. I love, 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 love this one. Did he just like get rid of all of her hair underneath her hair? Your life. Yo, he hacked. That hair. Completely new person. I, I love it. Put me in a time capsule. I'll keep this for Okay, hot. She looked like kind of a pageant queen before, and now she looks like a Glamazon Barbie doll. Kind of love it. Kind of here for it, but kind of not the best. They put me through hell, but um, I mean, I'm loving it now. Okay, <laughs> can we talk about that before picture? Why is it so... So blurry, like they took it on a flip phone. Do better, America's Next Top Model. I love the blonde. I wish it was a little bit more icy than yellow to compensate her cool skin tone. I really like the blonde on her though. I think she looks a lot more model-esque after the makeover than before. I love my new makeover. Seduction, seduction. My makeup is a lot different than what I'm used to. She definitely looks better after, but uh, not really loving the red. Um, would have liked to see her with her dark color, just a different haircut. The before picture there, you can't see her hair because America's Next Top Model couldn't have just told them to take down their hair before taking a before picture. I just come Ooh, over. those bangs. I'm hot. Oh! Major bang. Oh yeah. I love it. That was really much better for her. The bangs look really good. Color looks nice and I like the length. Oh, I'm so excited. I have a new, totally different look that I would have never thought of. Holy sh that's a transformation. Love the really long hair. I love how straight it is. This is very modern and very cute. Before she looked a little bit like young and playful and like, I'm not a model. And then after she's like, Model. This day. Oh my gosh, she looks gorgeous. This is a guy, but he looks cute. Whoa, that was amazing. Miss Brandy, her attitude just pissed me off. Unfortunately, it's like you, Kenya's got some going on with her hair. I don't know what's going on there. And it's like, I'm getting frustrated now. Yo, they're lucky I'm not on that show. <laughs> oh, you guys would see a different side of me. I'd be like, you don't like your makeover? Leave. <laughs> Get out. I am in love with this hairstyle. It's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, she looks so good. A hairstyle to make my face and my structure stand out. Yes. I love the bob. I love the length. I love I love the color. I love it all. We're gonna end it there. Oh my god, those are great. I think my two favorites, actually I have three favorites from this season. It was Naima, Tiffany, and Kenya. They looked amazing. I think out of those three though, I think Tiffany with the long black hair had the best makeover. I think that that was just amazing. But I I mean, Naima with the blonde highlights and the mohawk, incredible. And then Kenya with that bob, incredible, but not like shocking. All right, you guys. So that was all the makeovers from season three and four of America's Next Top Model. You know, my favorites were Amanda with the platinum blonde makeover and Tiffany with that jet black hair down to her waist that was like pin straight. I honestly don't know how to pick a favorite because they're just like completely different looks. I think those two makeovers really transition them from like girl next door or like a basic girl to a top model. I love me some America's Next Time Model. That was definitely a throwback for me. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at BradMondoNYC. And follow my hair care brand, X Mondo Hair, and shop X Mondo Hair below for fabulous, amazing, gorgeous hair products that will make your hair feel fabulous, gorgeous, and amazing. And that is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hi, beautiful.
This is Glitterati, our styling serum. Glitterati is perfect for those of you who want a bit of pulse, a bit of moisture, a lot of shine, and a bit of sparkle. If you're trying to have your style last you throughout the day, if you have a problem with your styles dropping very quickly, or you want your curls or your waves to be more defined when they're air dried, Glitterati is perfect.